Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Fire Chicken Review. Today we're going to be talking about a Kickstarter project by uh, Martha Carr. So if you're one of the 400 uh, backers from the original Kickstarter project uh, that you recognize this dragon from, you may be very excited uh, to see uh, what I'll be talking about uh, today. And for those of you that are unfamiliar, uh, Martha Carr did her first uh, Kickstarter uh, project uh, it's a trilogy, so this is the first book of the Queen of the Flightless uh, Dragons, and the first book is called Amon. Uh, I would have uh, butchered the name, but good thing I watched uh, a video of uh, the author talking about what the, the book is about. I'm excited to check out this book. This only came in uh, the other day, so let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a, a review of uh, the book. It's a little bit off uh, the side of what I normally cover, but uh, the reason uh, that uh, she sent me a product is actually to cover uh, this a nice uh, play mat that you see in front of you and uh, a dice uh, a tray that I'll be covering here as uh, well. And I just got to say this, so this book has me interested. Uh, definitely check out the Kickstarter. I'll have uh, the link uh, for her original one uh, for Amon, the Queen of the Flightless uh, Dragons. And the reason why it's interesting, it's about a, a, a girl gamer in a taco truck. Uh, and it finds out that uh, there's a, she is more interesting than she realizes. So I can't wait to check it out. The story sounds interesting. And I like the idea that uh, there, it's based off of, um, there's a lot, it's based off in Texas. And I like the idea that a lot of the locations are uh, real. Uh, can't wait to check it out. If you want to see more of that, then uh, definitely check out the, the link below. But getting right into uh, the review, like I said, uh, uh, Martha Carr sent me this playmat and a, a dice uh, tray uh, to cover because her second Kickstarter that's going live uh, very shortly, and by the time you see this video, it should uh, be live, is actually a playmat for uh, that uh, uh, book series. And uh, you may uh, recognize, if you are uh, seen my channel before, I cover a lot of gaming uh, products, and I have covered uh, playmats in the past. So this uh, playmat uh, here uh, is actually quite nice. Uh, the first thing that I'll mention is that, as you can see, it's a uh, stitch edge which is a very, uh, it's always my favorite thing. You see that this is my own play mat here, Fire Chicken Reviews. Well, it's not my play mat, it's my uh, uh, dice uh, tray that I have. Uh, but it's all, mine is also Stitch Edge. And uh, Stitch Edge is just really nice because what that means is it doesn't uh, fray. So if you're gonna have your play mat uh, for a while, uh, that's uh, nice. So the quality as well, I want to talk about that, as you can see. Very beautiful. This is just the, the cover art of, not just, but this is the, the cover art of uh, the first book of, of Amon here. And I think it came out uh, fairly well. Now, it might be a little bit hard because I'm showing it using my phone camera here, uh, but I would have liked to have the resolution just slightly more. Now, take that with a grain of salt because I'm coming from a background, a little bit of a snob of a person that owns like 30 plus uh, play mats. But I think for the intentions of uh, the, the Kickstarter campaign and for those that would be backing, this mat is beautiful and you'd be like, what are you talking about the resolution? Uh, because it's a little bit harder to see on, on camera. Uh, but from afar, well, from this distance here, it's uh, very nice. But you can see as you uh, zoom in slightly, you can see a little bit uh, that if it just had a little bit more crispiness, uh, it would just pop uh, just uh, ever so more. Uh, but that means you need to have a very big resolution uh, image to do so. So if that all sounds like geek talk, don't worry about it. I think overall the, the mat is uh, beautiful. And I believe the campaign is going to have at least uh, four different um, uh, mat choices that you can pick up uh, from. So uh, Martha Carr sent me uh, this one here, which is great. And I, I think uh, that uh, a lot of people will also appreciate uh, the, the main uh, protagonist, the main uh, person that uh, is covered in uh, the book. And there's like a, a great picture from her first Kickstarter that shows her next to uh, that taco truck. But let me know uh, what you think of uh, the, the play match when it goes live and if you're considering uh, backing it. So more into it, like I said, the stitch edge, very nice. Uh, the thickness of the mat, it's uh, actually uh, fairly uh, thin, so it's not the, the thickest mat, but that's uh, perfectly fine. Like you'll see that it's probably hard to tell, but if I take out uh, mine here, mine's fairly uh, thick. 
uh, versus this one is a nice uh, thin uh, mat. Uh, that's not going to be a, a large uh, deal breaker either way. But what's nice about that is that it means it's not as heavy. So it's a lighter weight uh, so you can carry it around. But uh, the question that you might be asking is, hey, I, I backed uh, the, the book. Uh, or you're considering back in the book, why would I want a, a, a play mat? And uh, for me, I think the, the big uh, ticket item here is, is that this is a great uh, thing. So maybe you decide to read uh, the first book in the, the trilogy here. Then uh, you want to get more into other gaming aspects. And I think Martha Carr is a little bit of a geek herself. And I think this is going to be uh, perfect if you want to use it. Uh, for things if you're gonna play some potential uh, card games or if you want to have a nice mat and you're sitting down for your favorite RPG of course with like D&D &D being like one of the five fifth edition being one of the, the most popular I think this is a great nice little mat to have in front of you to put out your uh, things and to have a nice little dice tray which I'll show here in a bit to roll your dice and all that while you're playing your uh, campaign as well I think that uh, when I talked about card games I think that if you are coming from like card games like of course the big king card game uh, Magic the Gathering this is very much you know very fancy uh, uh, theme and it's a nice uh, piece uh, of art so I covered uh, you hear me talking about the book you hear me talking about what you might want the map for so overall, yeah, you know what? Uh, the playmat is, I would give it about an 8 out of uh, 10. Uh, for me, I would like it a little bit uh, thicker. Uh, I do love uh, the stitch edge that goes all the way around. And uh, yeah, it's normal uh, material. So uh, it's the normal backing that you would have here. So this backing, if you're not used to mats, it just helps it from being able, from stopping from slipping. So this is just on my uh, breakfast uh, counter here. And you can see that it helps it uh, from slipping in the size of the mat is a normal size uh, play mat so overall yeah i, I give it a nice uh, eight out of uh, ten for my personal preferences because i think it's a, a nice uh, play mat i think that the art is uh, nice and crisp uh, my uh, like constructive uh, feedback is i would like to see that the, the image quality just up an ounce and i, I like a little bit of a, a thicker mat but that's me critiquing it as a, as a reviewer, as someone that is backing uh, the project because maybe you potentially love uh, the book or you just think that this is a, uh, a great piece of art. I think you're going to really enjoy this. And if you're not a, uh, a snob like myself when it comes to like uh, your, your playmats, like if this is your one and only playmat, yeah, you're going to really enjoy it. I think it's going to last uh, for uh, quite a while. Um, so that is uh, the, the play mat uh, there. I was also sent uh, this here. So let me move uh, the play mat out of the way. And I was sent uh, this uh, nice little, uh, yeah, dice tray. And you say, well, how's this a dice tray? Well, if you take uh, the sides here and you can just clip it in here. So if you haven't seen these, these are nice just to have around to stop um, your dice from rolling everywhere and of course i'm filming this and realize i don't have my dice near me uh but yeah so that's a nice little i like the the image here and being you know fire chicken review i love that she sent uh, me uh, one with a, a dragon and flames on the side uh you know trying to win my heart over most likely with uh that uh but yeah so this is a nice little uh dice tray uh, so similar thing uh, with uh, mine here. You can see mine's a little bit just like chunkier, uh, but this is all you really need. This would be about like a medium size uh, a dice tray to put in and you would just roll your dice in uh, there so that they're not clanking uh, on your table and uh, whatnot. So the only thing you might have noticed, so this was a uh, demo or not demo, this is a prototype copy. Uh, the two things, let me put my uh, camera down here for a second, is that that I know this let's see here oh oh gosh so the two things that I noticed as I tried to do this is that um, when it came you might see that there's a little bit of a, uh, a line mark here unfortunately um, when this uh, came just the way that it came in uh, let's see if you can see that on uh, camera here uh, okay that's fine there uh, basically when it came uh, and it got shipped Unfortunately, it, this one did get uh, damaged a bit. Again, this is a prototype, so hopefully uh, the shipping, when it gets uh, shipped, uh, it uh, will be shipped in a way. I, I believe Martha was saying that she's going to probably send it in like tubes 
uh, for like the play mats and whatnot so that uh, when you're on your Kickstarter it doesn't get uh, damaged when it gets uh, shipped to you. Uh, she offered to, to send me a different uh, one and I but because the campaign was coming up uh, shortly I said oh we might as well uh, go with uh, uh, this uh, so that you know the the video can be up by the time that the campaign goes uh, live. So interesting enough uh, it's probably going to be hard uh, to tell but uh, the material on this is more of, it's more like foamy. I don't know how to explain that in any other way. On oh, there, there you can see that uh, the crease. Unfortunately, I'm not sure uh, why uh, Martha decided to go with a different material than the, the neoprene uh, uh, that is normally used for like play mats in uh, dice trays like this. But uh, this material, I think because of the material use, it's a little bit lighter. Uh, but I think that's also why it got that little bit of a crease uh, in the, the, the damage uh, there when it was uh, shipped. Uh, so I, I, I won't lie. So I'm trying to not think about uh, the crease uh, there, but I am concerned for those that uh, potentially are, would be backing it that uh, I, I believe that it was caused because of the material used isn't as strong as like a, a neo, neoprene uh, play mat. So like, if I take uh, mine, for example, you'll see the way that uh, the neoprene is versus uh, this. Even if mine was folded in, in half like this, you'll see that even if it was like sitting, it could uh, get damaged over time, like say, because it was shipped with the book. And that's a recommendation is that I would have it not shipped with the, the book. But over time, even if I did that to uh, my tray and you're like, oh, God, don't do that. Um, it could potentially get damaged, but it's a, a lot stronger uh, than uh, this material here, which is, again, it's like, I guess it's um, what you might see for, you know, um, a mouse pad, like a mouse pad material versus a neoprene that is normally used. It's still uh, like slipper resistant, which is nice. Um, the actual like uh, putting this together and taking it apart, you saw that I did that with like one hand is uh, you know standard stuff there so that's not too bad uh, but the the main issue as I get my hands all over here sorry about that uh, yeah the main issue is that uh, I, I wouldn't recommend uh, this material so uh, my recommendation is during uh, the, the campaign uh, let me know and on uh, the video itself let me know what you think of uh, the material that you see in front of you and if you would be a uh, concern Potentially, you know, if you took care of it uh, well, it should uh, be uh, fine if you're not folding it up and normally you wouldn't be doing that with your mats. Uh, but yeah, I would like to see this uh, uh, neoprene like uh, play mats and that's usually normally like what uh, I, I have, for example, for uh, mine. Uh, so that's why I'm biased. You also see that uh, even my dice uh, tray has a stitched edge where because this is a different material, it, uh, it doesn't have that. But at the same time, uh, most likely the reason why it's a, a different material is that probably to keep uh, the costs uh, down. So potentially uh, one of my recommendations would be uh, if she's looking at uh, keeping this is maybe consider uh, asking backers, do they want to keep uh, this material or potentially have one that might be a little bit more expensive, uh, but uh, will last a little bit uh, longer. So. That's me uh, blabbering about uh, uh, both uh, the play mat and the dice uh, tray that you see in front of you. So let me put out uh, the play mat again. I think the play mat is, uh, yeah, so the play mat is quite nice, quite beautiful uh, play mat. Look forward to seeing what else uh, comes out in, during her uh, Kickstarter campaign. I think that the dice tray, the art on it is quite nice. The functionality is a standard dice tray functionality uh, and uh, I always have to be truthful in my reviews, even though this product came a little bit damaged, it does uh, have a concern uh, for me that some backers, depending on if they're not in the, the States, uh, if it's coming and if this is on top of a different package, it might end up like this if the same material is used. So that's my constructive feedback. Again, all prototypes, this was given to me to do as a re review. So take that with a, a grain of salt as well. But yeah, let me know what you think of uh, the dice tray, the play mat that is in front of me. And if you've picked up uh, the first uh, book in her series of Amon, Queen of the Flightless Dragons, and what you think of it, I can't wait to have a read myself. So hopefully uh, the campaign uh, does well. And 
hopefully it gets uh, the word uh, spread because uh, one of the biggest things uh, about this that I think is very interesting is that you know this is what Kickstarter was for uh, a new uh, person on Kickstarter platform doing an indie project and I consider an indie project just like basically a local uh, project uh, yeah so crowdfunding uh, for books and fancy items that uh, us uh, geeky uh, people enjoy and as a uh, fire chicken uh, myself I absolutely do love uh, uh, what I see in front of me so that's all for now hope you have a great day bye now